Welcome to the Sugar Connect Working with Your Sugar Data in Office 365 video. In this video, we'll outline how to use the Sugar Connect sidebar to create and edit records, convert leads, and complete sugar tasks, all without having to leave Outlook. We'll start with how to create and edit records. There are a few ways to create new sugar leads and contacts from Outlook using Sugar Connect. You can create via the related entries icon when composing a message or meeting or through the sidebar list view. Let's start by creating a new record from the Related Entries icon. I'm in Outlook and I'm looking at a message from someone that I'm not sure exists as a contact or lead within my Sugar instance. When the sidebar is open, Sugar will search all of the lead and contact records in the database to see if anything matches the email address in this message. You can also see this information by selecting the Related Entries icon at the bottom of the sidebar. As you can see on the right hand side, it has searched the database and found that there are no related entries for this email address. At this point in time, I have the ability to either add to Sugar as a contact or as a lead. I also have the option to quick archive the email to Sugar. This will archive the email to the new contact or lead at the same time as the record is being created. I'm going to go ahead and add them to Sugar as a lead. You'll see that it automatically pulls any of the information it has from the message, so it pulled the first and last name as well as the email address. Now I can fill in any additional details that I'd like to add. Once I fill out all of the relevant information, I can go ahead and save changes. Sugar Connect is going to create that record. I'm able to see that the entry was successfully created and now a lead for this email address exists in my Sugar instance. Now let's take a look at creating new records when composing a message. In your inbox, create a new message. Enter an email address that's not found in Sugar. Sugar Connect has searched to see if there are any records that match the email address in the new message. It hasn't found any related entries, so now we can add that individual as a contact or a lead. I'll go ahead and choose Add as a Sugar Contact, enter any necessary details, and select Save Changes. This will save that record into Sugar. You also have the ability to create new leads or contacts via the sidebar list view. This method can be used to create other types of Sugar records as well. You'll navigate to the module you'd like to create a new record in within the sidebar. For this example, we'll create an account. I'll click on the Accounts module. Once I'm in the Accounts module, I'll go to the Action menu in the top right, select Create an Account, fill out any of the relevant data, and Save Changes. This is going to save that new account record back into Sugar. Again, this method can be used to create any type of Sugar record from the Sugar Connect sidebar. Now let's take a look at how to edit an existing record using the sidebar. I'll start by viewing the record I'd like to edit. I'll go to the records area within the sidebar, click on the contacts module, and it will bring me to the contact list view. I'll select one of the records in this list. To edit, I'll click on the action menu and choose edit entry. I can make any necessary changes, select the check mark to save the changes, and these will be synced to your Sugar instance. Now let's take a look at how to convert leads using Sugar Connect. Through the sidebar, you can take a lead record and convert it into a contact, account, and opportunity. Let's take a look at that process. Start by viewing a lead in the sidebar. I'll go to the Sugar Records area and click on the Leads module. I'll select one of the lead records in this list. When viewing the lead record, as long as the lead has not been converted, I'll have the option to convert the lead from the Action menu. I'll select Convert Lead and now I'm in the Convert Lead screen. I'm able to see the lead record that we're converting at the top. Here there's an area to create a new contact, account, and opportunity. Note that both the contact and account are required as they're outlined in red, and the opportunity is optional. I'll start with the contact. You can select an existing contact to convert this lead into by typing into the text field here. Or you can click the plus sign icon to create a brand new record. I'm going to create a new lead. I'll see that it automatically populates any of the information that existed within the lead record. I can add anything additional, go to my action menu, and select Save Changes. Now let's select an existing account record for this lead. Type in the field to search for the account and select the record you're looking for. Now that account is associated with this lead. At this point we can create that new opportunity record as well. Now I've got my new contact, associated account, and new opportunity. I'll go to the convert lead action menu and click save and convert. I'll see a message at the top in green saying that I've successfully converted the lead and I can see the lead information for this record. I'm able to see that the status is now listed as converted and down below I'm able to see the new contact, 
the associated account, and the new opportunity that were created. Last, let's take a look at how to complete tasks within the sidebar. When working with task records through the Sugar Connect sidebar, there's an option to quickly mark your tasks as complete by clicking the checkbox next to the task. I can check the box next to that specific item. I'll receive a pop-up confirming that I want to mark this task as complete and click Confirm. Now the status of that task has been set to completed and the change has been synced to Sugar. You should now have an understanding of how to create and edit records, convert leads, and complete your Sugar tasks in Sugar Connect for Office 365. Thank you for watching.